the draw. The European champions have come through, Lamsfuss and Zeidel, the German pair beating the identical twin brothers from Chinese Taipei. That match, the Olympic champions, uh, Li Yang and Wang Chilin against the world champions, Kang Xiu, will be showing that a little bit later. Uh, but first, we will look at the new world number ones, Liang Weikeng and Wang Chang of China. Became world number ones uh, right at the end of last month, 31st of October. So, this is their fourth week as world number ones. Three courts in action today. And I can tell you, tomorrow we'll have two court coverage. So we'll have full coverage from both court one and court two. Of course, you can watch the streaming from all three courts. Finally, we get a look at the players arriving to our court number one, led out by the Thai combination, John Cole and Petrin. Now, this will only be a second meeting between these two pairs. The first meeting was at the All England Championships in the very first round in Birmingham earlier this year. 21-13, 21-18 in just 28 minutes. The now world number ones won in Birmingham. There we are. That just confirms what I've told you. Well, I can't hear that at all. I have no idea. I'm sure that the Chinese pair won the toss of the coin, but I have no idea whether they chose ends or to serve or to receive. You didn't catch it either, Chris, did you? No. Well, we do apologise about that. This is Supak Jonko. He's 27 years of age. 180 they've got him down at, and that's... He's about five foot ten. Thirty-two on the world rankings. They have been as high as twenty-one. This is Kitty Nubon Kedrin, who is also twenty-seven. Uh, from Song Claire in southern Thailand. It's near the border with Malaysia. So this is their twentieth tournament of the year. They've been in one semi-final so far in 2023. That was their home event, the Thailand Masters 300. Wang Chung is 22 years of age from Ningbo in Xijiang province. And as I was telling you, they're enjoying their fourth week as world number one. So this is their first appearance at the China Masters. 176 is five foot nine and a half, yeah, which is what yeah, Wei Kang is. His partner slightly taller. Wang Chang was is five foot eleven, uh, from Guangdong Province, which is where we are at the moment. Five finals this year, winning in India. That was the first of the Super 750 events. Then won there. A second event at the Thailand Open, that was a 500, and then China, 1,000. So they've won titles at three different levels, which is pretty impressive for the Chinese pair. A couple of other finals as well. That's the Thailand coaching bench. Tisana Panvisvas, 
was the coach as we looked at them on the left. Kiri Pong Kedron is not the tallest of athletes as we looked at with our court officials. He's only five foot four, but he's former world junior champion. So our court officials from Hong Kong, China, and from Italy. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Supan Chukong and Kiribong Kemran, Thailand. And Wang Chen, China. Wang Chen to serve to Supan Chukong. Level play. So the world number one is nearest to us, getting its match Somersault. underway. One. And Love. in the last three years, Jumko and Kedron have played 37 tournaments. 35 of which Two, they've lost one. in the first or second round. And again, we were talking in an earlier match, weren't we, Chris, about Three, players love. chasing Olympic qualifying points, chasing the, the prize money in these elite tier of tournaments. But for personal development, again, I wonder whether they should have been playing some lower grade tournaments to get confidence up. Yeah, I would One, definitely say, three. I mean, just highlighting what you said about Kedron, he's world junior champion and previously, obviously, but he's 27 now and since being world junior Whoa. champion, I wouldn't three, say he's maybe three. achieved what he hoped and also Thailand hoped. And I think over the last sort of 12 to 18 months, they could have and should have played just a few, just a few slightly lower ranking tournaments just to get those wins up because you have to learn to win otherwise yes. it gets to a point where you almost get used to losing Whoa. and you yeah. start fractionally just fractionally accepting them Three. and they're a pair for me that are definitely good enough to qualify in the men's doubles for the olympics because it's going to go down a considerable amount just because there's so many duplicate pairs from nations because obviously only two can go and they both have to be top eight so in in, in the men's doubles it can go down and, and they're a pair that for me definitely should qualify but oh. highlighting too high service for the old on the long way came too high the point that you said i had it down as 16 tournaments individual tournaments in a row 14 first rounds in a row of the 16 and that gets to you and it also highlights they are a good pair no one's doubting that but they're a few bad draws a few performances that aren't as good whereas they could be playing challenge tournaments or 100s and finding that solution and learning again to win yeah I agree. Oh. I'm not sure that Five, I'm convinced that they should be qualifying for the Olympics. I take your point very much that to get two pairs into the Olympics, you've, you've got to go uh, further down the rankings. But I think Six, there's, I four. haven't looked closely enough at the at the qualifying. Uh, list at the moment, but when you look at the world ranking list, and, and let's not forget that by the time we get to the end of the qualifying period, uh, that is the world ranking list. So they need to make considerable in improvements, I think, from 32. Seven, four. Yeah, I think it's just there's so many Chinese pairs, Indonesian pairs, yeah. uh, Chinese Taipei pairs that when you look I think the Germans, which are ranked around 26 in the world, are something like 10th on the list, just because of the so many duplicate pairs that the Thailand yeah. pair are only a fraction behind. But things can change. There could be a pair now that could emerge a few places higher. Um, but I do think they've got the ability to be one of the, the last pairs to qualify, but they're making it difficult for themselves. Yeah. You've also got to figure in the continent Five, representation. Eight. So, of course, there's going to be representation anyway from uh, Europe and Asia. 
So that they're obviously not going to get in as an Asian representative. So it's over. Nine, five. Well, this is a very good start by the Thai pair. Yeah, well taken. Good interception from the Amway King. Chinese pair that we've got. I said it about four or five months ago, I do think they are the best in the world, but they're still improving all the time, and I think. I do think their lowest level is quite a bit lower than their highest level. I think the golf is too big, but some of their performances, they lose to pairs that are maybe not quite at their level, but when they play at their very best or their highest level, I do think they are the best. Dear. Service fall, followed by a service Eight, error. Ten. Consecutive rallies. If you can call uh, a service fault and a uh, service error a rally. from the first four, five, or even six rallies. A lot calmer in defense. Seven, ten, they are so good in the, their favorite formation. Wang at the net, and Liang at the rear. Liang with a big smash, and Wang so active around the net. It is very much their favourite formation, no doubt about it. So it is the Chinese pair who have the one-point advantage at the mid-game interval. And we're in the open game of this first round match. So 11-10, the world number ones lead by Whoa. one point at the moment. Can well, I make that too? Ten. Oh, yeah, 
Yes, that's brilliant. He is so creative and reads this game so well from the front of the court, Wang Chang. Section. I do think he's one of two net players in the world that I think at the moment are maybe just half a step ahead of the rest. Who's the other one then? The other one I would actually say is Shetty. Yeah. But they've obviously had a little bit of a patch where not performed quite as well. I think it's tough to not put Kim, Kim Ashraf in that also because at the moment, you know, Kim is playing incredibly well, incredibly well. amazing to think these Chinese are already at world number one because as a partnership they're fairly new to be world number one it normally takes years of a partnership to be able to get to that status yep they only formed their partnership in May last year at the Thailand Open 500 events forced to form a new partnership due to the suspension of Wang Chang's former partner, Yi Zijian. He's all got a bit fast and furious, doesn't it? Oh, that's a beautiful disguise drop. Well, that's an incredible shot. He's off balance, going the wrong way. I don't think we really see that enough because he's got such a big smash and that's why it's so effective because it's actually landed pretty deep. You see Kedrin's so deep in defence. Worried about that big, big smash. Yeah, that's nice. So I mean, it's got to be a, a disadvantage for Kitty Mukon Kipling, the fact that in stature he's only five foot four. You know, you think of the, the Chinese men's doubles pair that we watched last week, Chris, you know, in the, uh, well, the taller of the two pairs, the beat the finest last week. But all four players. Uh, in the final a week ago, were fairly tall athletes, but... I think one advantage is slightly with the new service rule, it evens things out a fraction in regards to that. I think at the net, he does have a slight advantage to an extent, but that because he's a bit shorter, if the shuttle's coming at a taller player's chest, it's coming at it in a comfortable area for him, but court coverage a lot harder. You know, he's got to take yeah. more steps, angles, so much harder to hit a steep angle as well. So, in the blink of an eye, they've got game point opportunities. Five of them. In a very quick first first game, 12 minutes in. Yeah, and we've had a minute interval in the middle of that too. Yep, well played. Super jump call. Game 21-16. Well, the match clock in the arena still says just 12 minutes. I wonder if it will be rounded up to 13. ตัวเนี่ยตัวเขาเรื่องนั้นตัวอังคุนเฮ้ยนี่มันอังคุนทําอะไรแหน่ต้องทําอะไรเดี๋ยวเราเดี๋ยวเราเดี๋ยวเรา
One game to the goods. Wei Ken and Huang Chang. Well, since the early stages. Uh, I think that this pair from Thailand really haven't been able to get on the attack and sustain the attack enough. Good rally. Brilliant. That's a great rally, yeah. I, I think one of the big differences, Chris, is the fact that especially with Liang Wei Kung at the back of the court. He's got a monstrous smash. And they can put the shuttle away, whereas I think it's more difficult for John Cole and Kedron. They don't seem to have those uh, same array of winning shots. And power play from the back. Yeah, yeah, I mean, John Cole at the back, he, he's been a little bit too simplistic as in. He, he's got a good smash, there's no doubt about that. He's got good power, but he doesn't have phenomenal power so I think he's got to have more variation we need half smash we need a bit more placement we need a drop shot he needs to get the uh, the two Chinese players just out off balance so that they're a bit more uncomfortable on the defense because I would say except for the start of the match the Chinese have defended so well they look so composed That's a prime example in, in that they can put the shuttle away and, and it seems they can break down the defence of the Thailand players a little more easily than the other way round. I think in the second game as well, I'm not sure the pair from Thailand have actually had the attack at all yet. We had that very flat, fast exchange, but I wouldn't call that attack. I think you're right, Chris. At the moment, it looks like the Chinese Thomas are reading everything that's going six, on. They're two. always on balance in the right position when they're striking the shuttle. Doubt one of the best mid and front court players in the world in the men's doubles discipline, Wang Chung. Drive there, follows forward, and he's in exactly the right place at the right time. Yeah, and his drive was flat over the net, and then he was just ready. And the drive from the Thailand pair goes Some in an upward all. direction, and he can just apply the Three, pressure. Seven. Oh. 
Well, there's no doubt John Cole is trying to sort of counteract the attacking play. He's a very fine mixed doubles player. John Cole with Pilsen Fran. That's yeah. wide. And just talking about John Cole's mix, Nine. I think that is Four. a tricky one because I totally agree with you. I think he's a great mixed doubles player, but playing two events, does it distract from the possibility of the men's doubles, which is the event I feel he can qualify. I think to qualify in the mixed doubles for the Olympics I'm discussing is a very, very, very big Ten. ask. Whereas, oh. could he pause his mixed doubles for a duration to fully focus on the men's doubles trying to qualify and then after that, because he's, you know, he's not old, he's still got time, he's 27, to then take up his mixed again. Well, I totally appreciate what you're saying, but then that's putting Olympic qualification above all else. And I think you have a responsibility to both partners if you play two disciplines. Yep, I think personally the Federation could have Flick slash serve. should have made that decision earlier because Ten. now I totally agree, that's totally unfair to his mixed doubles partner. But I do think they could have partnered his mixed doubles partner with someone else for the duration and he could have had a full focus on the men's to, to qualify because so it's so hard Seven, six, in yeah. two events. Yeah, it is, but not impossible. So, the error there from John Cole and it means that the world number one is an 11 6 advantage here in the second round. Having all of one of the last แต่เขาไปยิงตะไดกระไดกระไดแล้วเขาก็บุกตัวดิบุกไล่เข้ามาดูดิไม่มีการเข้าใจว่าแล้วดูแล้วตอนนั้นสุดท้ายปุ๊
try and hit through Whoa. Wang Chan. That's what happens. Cover soul. 16, 10. And he's always hunting the shuttle at the net, which is, you know, is such an important thing. He's getting the shuttle in a downward direction. He's active, hunting the next one. Wipe the court, please. Wipe the court, please. Fairly short swing, takes it in front of him and just punches the shuttle. on the attack. Oh, I like that. Yeah, and the final placement just off the right hip. Liang. That's why it's so integral where you place your smash. I think it's the calmest I've seen uh, Liang look in defense. He does look very calm, moving the shuttle around really well. Yeah, good interception. So the soul. 12, 17. Got to start closing down the gap now. The Thailand pair, if they had to extend this first round match. Oh dear, that's too flat. Gone along with the back line. This is the thing 18 12, and they've lost 12. the first game. And do they still believe? And when you're in a position they're in where they've lost the first round of 14 of 16 of their recent tournaments, the belief you have is so low. This is why so important to get these wins in, get momentum, play some lower ranking tournaments and believe you can win. Lovely 14, from Kitty Newpong Kedrin. What a super serve. Yeah, that's a good rally. There was three wonderful interceptions from one Chan. The Chinese pair still couldn't win the rally. Yeah, the Thailand pair did incredible to stay in that, but it was. You just want to watch any young net players out there, just want to watch Wang at the net, what he does, how he moves, his racket oh, carriage. Call too high. Too high, over. called on Kedrin. Match point. 16. Uh, Jumko, I think, is the only player not being faulted. Four match point opportunities for Liang and Wang. Oh. And they convert on their first. 
symmetry in the scoreline, 21-16, 21-16, in I make it just under 30 minutes. Well, we saw glimpses of what they're capable of, this player from Thailand. But I somehow felt that the new world number ones, Liang Wei-Ping and Wang Chang, still had another gear they could go to. safely through the first obstacle and that's good to see after they pulled out of the Kumamoto Masters last week. So many injury problems that obviously caused them to withdraw from Japan Masters are now rectified because that was pretty impressive. Welcome back to Shenzhen and its first round action today at the leading China Masters. Next up, we have men's singles, and it is the uh, finest, uh, 